month or so. How about this one? People counting. You want to take a deep dive into your dystopian future under the digital surveillance state. It's right here. This little board here tells you how many times uh, people have come through the park. So essentially, it tells you how many unconnected Wi-Fi devices there are in. So that would be everyone's phone. This is telling you how many people are in the park at the moment. So once again, imagine a, a lockdown scenario, another emergency, another COVID outbreak or monkeypox or, you know, whatever you like, you name it, we'll make it up. Six devices in this park at the moment, that's down 50% for normal. Your local government, your state government, your federal government might want it to be none. And this, this will tell you, these sensors up in this light, the Wi-Fi connections, they're all interlocked. There will be facial recognition cameras in there. So, you know, don't think you're just going to leave your phone at home. The cameras will pick you up in future. All seems very innocuous, but the reality here is what we are seeing is the very real and very, very, in my view, concerning future for how we go. These areas are all going to be geofenced uh, and there's going to be more data about you out there and what you do per day. And I hear people saying, I've got no problem with any of this. I don't do anything wrong. Well, that all depends on whether or not your government has the same viewpoint as you. Uh, and we've seen this played out in the last 18 months through the COVID period. I've got to tell you, I don't like this at all. Looks pretty innocuous, but to me, there's a bigger, badder future that comes with it. Make sure you're thinking about this. Make sure you're talking to your friends about it and make sure you're telling your politicians that you don't want a social credit style system like currently rolling out uh, over in China with the CCP. We don't want to go anywhere near this. I have a bad feeling this is where we're headed.